New Orleans has its French Quarter, the Irish Channel, and food and music that mix cultures from all over the world. Frank Maselli wants to make sure the Italian contributions to the city are also celebrated. Well, our mission is to honor and celebrate the American Italian culture, past, present, and future. Maselli is chairman of the American Italian Cultural Center, and if you haven't heard of it or its museum on South Peters Street, Maselli is ready to change that. Step into the newly renovated museum and you'll learn that Italians and Italian Americans have contributed to life in New Orleans for more than 300 years. Italians have actually been a part of New Orleans since the very beginning. If you go back to the early explorations, you had individuals like Enrico de Tonti who were here with De La Salle and Iberville. Uh, they were part of New Orleans even before Italy was its own country. Going forward, there was a mass influx of Italians into the New Orleans area between 1880 and the close of the First World War, and they, uh, they basically became the French Quarter. In fact, from the 1900s through uh, the 19-teens, French Quarter was known as Little Palermo. When you talk about Italians, of course, you talk about food, and that's covered here, from the St. Joseph's altar traditions to fruit and vegetable peddlers, even the Roman candy man. But this is also a place to learn about local Italian Americans' success in sports, music, politics, and even their service in World War II. In one exhibit, visitors can also learn about their own personal history. People of Sicilian descent can come in and put their name they can go to the letter, which their name starts with, and then they'll, they'll look down the list, they'll find the name, they touch the name, and it'll tell them generally where people with that name came from in Sicily. While the museum has been renovated and expanded, its roots go back more than 35 years. It was founded by Maselli's father, Joseph. My father had a passion for it, and I just, I think I just, inherited his passion. I think it's it's a worthwhile thing to keep this going, right? It's, I mean, and now, they, I mean, it, for the last 100 years, the Italians have been a, a significant part of New Orleans culture. French and Spanish culture are more readily seen in the architecture. Uh, I think people are surprised to find out just how much Italians have contributed to the culture of New Orleans. Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. And if you want to go see it, the American Italian Museum is at 537 South Peter Street in the Warehouse District. It's open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. Admission is only $10, but guided tours are available for $20. And one of the center's biggest fundraisers is its annual Sports Hall of Fame Gala. That'll happen on Saturday night at Harris Hotel. One of the inductees is former Major League and UNO baseball player uh, Johnny Giovatella. For tickets and more information, we have a link on our website, wwltv.com. Just click on links on four and you can get there.